Hi everybody, it's Miss Sue Ann from the University City Public Library and I'm here today with another fun story time for us all today. I hope you're ready to hear some fun stories about pumpkin heads. But before we start that, let's sing our hello song. Are you ready? Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. First we'll say hello to you. Hello. Hello. Then we'll read and sing songs too. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. So since you're here, I know you're ready for a story, right? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. Mm -hmm. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. Oh, yes. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. Mm -hmm. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Are you all ready? I can tell that you're sitting ready to go. So the first story, like I said, our story time today is going to be about pumpkin heads. I bet you've seen lots of pumpkins out in the stores in October. Our first story is called Pumpkin Heads. Did you see that? Pumpkin Heads. The author's name is Wendell Miner. He is the author who wrote this really good story, Pumpkin Heads. Let's get ready to see. And it starts in the beginning. It says, to children of all ages who celebrate autumn, which is another word for fall, who celebrate autumn with a visit to the pumpkin patch. If you've been to the pumpkin patch, it's lots of fun. <sighs> kind of looks like that. Look at all those pumpkins. Pumpkin heads. October is here. It's time to pick a pumpkin. On Halloween, every pumpkin becomes a pumpkin head. He's winking at you. Some are big, some are small. Some may float high in the sky. Look, it's a big pumpkin balloon. Mm. Floating way up high. Some peek from windows. He might scare me if I looked in the window at him. And some go for a hayride. Here's that little one again. Some pumpkin heads pretend to be cowboys. That cowboy hat. Or snowmen. <laughs> or witches. Hmm. Scary. Some pumpkin heads will greet for trick-or-treat. They're waiting outside the house. Look at that. Waiting for people to come. And some will scare crows. That's what you would sometimes see on a farm. They make a scarecrow to scare the big crow birds away. Some will scare crows. They don't look too scared to me, though. Pumpkin heads can be found in the strangest places. Hmm. 
but no matter where you may find them, pumpkin heads of all shapes and sizes hope you have a happy Halloween. The end of pumpkin heads. I hope you like that. I have a little rhyme about pumpkins. Can you help me count? How many pumpkins do you see that I have here? Can you tell me? One, two, three, four, five. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, the moon is in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. They're all gone, just the end of the pumpkins. Are you ready for our next pumpkin story? This one has a pumpkin head in it, but the story is called The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything. She wasn't afraid of anything. And what do you see in the corner here? A great big pumpkin head. This story, The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything, the author who wrote it, her name is Linda Williams. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. She's going out the door. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage. That's another name for a small house. She left her cottage and she went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices and nuts and seeds. Do you see her walking? She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night and the little old lady started to walk home. There she goes, walking home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes. And the shoes went clump, clump. Well, get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked down the path. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clump, clump. A little farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants. And the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And she walked on. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. And one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Farther still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt. And the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked a little faster. But behind her, she could hear. Two shoes go clump, clump. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. And a little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap. 
And the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and your tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear. Two shoes go clump, clump. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went, boo, boo. Mm. This time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clunk, clunk. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. And there she was, the little old lady. The little old lady did not stop to look back. She ran as fast as she could and she didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. There she is inside. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock, knock on her door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything. So, she went to the door and opened it. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. Hmm. I have an idea, said the little old lady. And she whispered in the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded and his face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said, good night, closed the door, and she whistled on her way to bed. The next morning, she woke up early. She went to her window and she looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? What do you think she saw? She saw two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. One scary pumpkin head go boo, boo and scare all the crows away. He became a scarecrow, just like in the other book. The end. I hope you liked that story about the little old lady who wasn't afraid of anything. Didn't it have a fun ending? So, we're at the end of our story time about pumpkin heads, but you know, we always have to sing our story about how good it is to be a reader, right? So are you ready to sing with me? The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. 
Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. The more we read together, together, together. The more we read together, the smarter we'll be. Read home books and school books and fun books and library books. The more we read together, the smarter we'll be. Keep reading. Come back again soon. Bye.